Area and perimeter of circles are do, done with the two famous formulas. The area of a circle is pi r squared, and the perimeter of a circle is 2 pi r, or pi times the diameter. Um, if we uh, give you questions where there are parts missing, so if the um, radius of that circle was 5, it would be pi 5 squared, and if there was a little 3 by 2 rectangle missing, you would of course handle that by subtraction. But the pur purpose of this video is to remind you that an even better way of handling the fact that part of a circle is missing um, is to use fractions. So if I had to work out the area of this um, circle, and let's say that was 10 across, then it would be pi times 5 squared if only it had been a whole circle. And to take account of the fact that it's only half a circle, don't do subtraction, just put a half out the front. That reflects the fact that it's only half a circle. So that is the area of that semicircle there. Um, the fractions do not always need to come to you off the top of your head. So this is only part of a circle. So if it had been a full circle, it would have been pi times 8 squared. Um, if I tell you how much of the circle you've got, don't bust your gut trying to think what proportion of the circle you have. You, of course, have 72 over 360. So that will be the area of the sector that you see there. Now, perimeter. There's a um, famous uh, mistake for this. If you work out the perimeter of this shape here, um, you use a different formula. It's not pi r squared anymore. Um, it's 2 pi r. So it's 2 times pi times 5. Of course, it's only half the circle. That's why there's a half there. But that's not the perimeter in its entirety. The perimeter is also the straight section. So um, don't forget that for a perimeter, you have to add these straight sections. Um, for area, uh, you um, often don't. Now, that is not a hard and fast rule of thumb. You really do need to consider it um, carefully. I can construct examples where um, it's the um, area that needs to change and not the perimeter um, and vice versa. So basically you just need to be very careful um, with any area and perimeter questions when it's part of a circle rather than the whole thing.